Freeman, Freeman, Freeman. What's up, Derek? How we doing today? Oh my goodness. Um, are we gonna go fishing? I wish, I wish, I wish. I wish I was fishing instead of filming, but you know what? I'm not complaining. I'm here in Miami, the weather's hot. So tell me about this boat. Oh my goodness, beautiful. So tell me about it. Well, where can you get a more stable platform than a 37 Freeman? Quad 400s on this boat right here run 81 miles an hour out there, take you through any seat, any chop. 540 gallons of fuel, good efficiency, good range where you can get one mile per gallon at 45 miles an hour. Can't beat that. Wow. You think we can jump on real quick so I can show the boat real quick? And... Absolutely. Welcome. All right. So let's go take a look at it. Jump on here with me so you can show me some of the areas. All right. We're on board. So initial impression is fishing 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 that's Absolutely. the first thing that when i stepped on that's what i first thing i noticed rear live wells in deck live wells custom sea chest and pump boxes oh, those are deep too immense amount of storage yeah got your drink coolers and bait station live well how how many gallon live well a uh, 65 gallon live well 80 in the floors Nice. Tackle stations throughout. Oh yeah. Nice. Get up to the dash on this one here. We have two 16 inch Simrad NSS's. We got the uh, Vessel View Mobile that's hooked up on this, supplied by Mercury Marine. Optimus EPS steering. Phenomenal setup. Yeah, very nice. We got the bolster seats. LeBrock custom seats on it, very comfortable. And I see rod holders galore. How many rod holders do we got on this bad boy? Too many to count. Immense amount of storage. Look at how many bodies you can fit up in there. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Look at the storage in here. Great accessibility to everything that you need on the boat. That is crazy. When we come back to fishing, we have our coffin boxes on either side. Look at that. And you got two separate ones? That's correct. Nice. So are you, are you guys primarily getting people that just our diehard fishermen or Absolutely. Who, that's, this boat that, is built for offshore fishing this is what it does yeah there are and definitely many more purposes but this is a fisherman's dream right here I, I i see it i see it so i mean it's obviously there's comforts and stuff like that i like this here that you can you know have some space up here so tell me about this bow section and what you guys had in mind when you guys designed this and basically you want the storage to be able to go out there and do overnight fishing trips you want the accessibility to be able to get to you know um your life jackets everything to be comfortable up here nice. um the, the greatest thing i like about the step up here is that it's, it's fishable off the bow as well as off the stern of the boat once you get the step up you can lean into the bolsters and you can actually fish off the bow well. I, I see that i see that uh, great amount of space around the console nobody's getting in each other's way you get a fish on and you got to sit there and run around you can sneak past the next person with a rod without bumping them over the side it's huge uh, nobody wants to say because of you, I lost that monster exactly. fish. You know it happens. Tell us about the tower. So this is the Freeman Tower that they put up on top of its second station. You get a good view from fishing. Um, simple design, you climb up right up the back. And uh, it's not much more to say about the tower other than that. It's all about the vision. Awesome, is there any access to inside the console or what's Absolutely. going on in there? Let's take a look oh nice, all right, let's see what we got in there. So this one is set up with double doors on it. So it goes all the way through. Okay. Great access inside the dash for your rigging. From a mechanic standpoint, very easy boat to work on. Yeah. Simple is best. Yes. You make them too complicated, more problems for you. That's awesome. And what size was this again? And this is a 37 Freeman, 11.6 beam. We build a 34 as well and a 42. What are you, look, over on what are you looking at uh, price range, you know, so somebody who's interested in a boat this like boat, this? depending on how you outfit it, between 550 and 600K. Okay. Um, that's fully loaded with a quad engine setup on it. 
Uh, once you get up into the 42 range, you know, you're stretching out a little bit more, 7 to 750. Um, again, it all depends on how you accessorize it. There's a, there's a box to tick off for everything. That is awesome. Well, listen, where can they go ahead and find more information if they wanted to go online and check you guys out? FreemanBoatWorks.com. You can find anything you need. Also, Pier 5 here at the Miami Boat Show. Awesome. Thank you so much. Awesome boat. I can't... Look, invite me fishing. I'll go. Trust me. I got Anytime. good luck. I, I, I got good luck, man. I got good luck. No bananas, right? <laughs> no bananas. <laughs> okay. We got an outlaw, baby. Outlaw performance boats. And we got a cat right here monsters at the show what's up guys Hi. oh my goodness another monster i've been four five six engines who knows when this is gonna stop i'm i'm seeing a trend on cat all oh, bunch of cats at the show tell me about your boat and uh if we can get on it let's showcase it for these people so they can check it out come on larry let's go aboard all right i love this part this is when they the walking me begins. All right. Oof. We got our storage tanks. Nice. We have some bilge access in the back. There you go. Nice. There. Where are you guys making these boats? We're making these out of Michigan. Michigan. Nice. We have some bait wells in floor. Totally circular, 80 gallons per side. Nice. Forward, we have the helm. Oh, yeah. Three seats, three across, plenty what's, of room. What's the beam on this boat? It feels really 12 wide. foot beam. 12 foot beam? I like this. Look at that. Great. The seating. Nice. Enclosed glass enclosure. Scratch resistant. Forward, we have a big, large coffin box. I'm liking this. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Now that's a, 700 ports. That's a true coffin box. There's nothing there other than space. I like that. And then you can lounge up there if you want. You got plenty of rod holders over here as well. No lounger. In floor storage space. Life jackets, bumpers, ropes. Lower deck, more storage space. Now, what's the length on this boat? This boat is 38 feet. 38 feet. And what's the fuel capacity? And We have uh, 560 gallons. 560. Uh, split in half between the two tanks per side. Nice. What's the top speed are, are you getting on this boat? Top speed is approximately 75 mile an hour. Wow. Uh, so. We're running about a gallon per mile at cruise. Nice. Uh, cruise typically is 40 to 42 mile an hour. at. Uh, 4,000 RPMs. So, who are you trying to, to market to? Like, are you marketing to the diehard fisherman, the guy who wants a little bit of everything? We, who, want, who? Uh, we want the uh, hard fishing core guy. We're trying to uh, market down in the saltwater areas. Um, this boat comes from the Great Lakes. Nice. Um, this model here has uh, been very successful down here in the saltwater. So, tell me about the console and what you guys have in mind here? We have uh, an optional uh, head unit that can go inside, uh, porta potty, access to all the electronics and battery switches. Lots of room. Fully concealed fiberglass, smooth finished inside now. Yeah, nice. So if they wanted to get some information on this boat, where would they go to check out the Outlaw boat, uh, Outlaw Boats? We could go to uh, www.outlaw, or we can go to uh, Larry at PBW 
outlawed. All right, awesome. Larry, you got an awesome cat here. This is amazing, amazing. Look at, look, look, look at the space here, guys. Just space everywhere. Beautiful. One last thing before I go, Larry. What are we talking about price rise? Uh, this boat's equipped for about 500,000. About 500,000. So you're getting a lot of value, you're getting a lot of uh, performance, and at the same time, you're getting a lot of space. Correct. Correct. All right, good. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right, much. guys, check them out. Outlaw. Thank you, Outlaw. <laughs> hey. Get the man a beer. He's hungover. Let's go. Now, nah, just go. Come on, Zach. Come on. Hey, it's early in the morning, guys. Early. I get. I got. I got but Captain Zach here. I got Captain Zach here. We're gonna make the most of it. All right. So, Zach, first of all, ask away. Introduce me to this boat. All right. Tell me, like, if I don't know anything, because somebody's watching this. Tell so me about right this. Right here, you're looking at the first cat that's ever built here. The Not very first one. Ball, but this is our 40, our 40 model. You're looking at 40 feet of pure cat, and speed and performance, and 12 feet of beam, a lot of boat. Great boat. We power it with mostly quad style outboards. Mercury Yamaha package setups is what you're we're basically usually setting up standard on these cats. You're looking at top speeds of 75 miles an hour, um, running at, you know, Good performance of 1.0 miles, you know, 1.0 miles to the gallon there. Um, you know, real Sha good fuel efficiency. Sean was telling me that this thing eats four and five footers for breakfast. Yeah. In 40, 50 miles catamaran, an hour. The, 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 the versatility of the catamarans is really, you know, improved, and you can tell in these. That's why it's become such a big, big deal. Um, you know, everyone's been a big cat craze because. You can really, it really separates itself from V-bottom hauls in a lot of conditions and in the way that it can attack seas and, and big seas of that, you know, quartering seas, um, head-on seas. You can attack it with speed and stability and, you know, be really stable and, and dry throughout the entire, Man, the it, entire ride. Man, it looks wide as hell in here. Very beamy. Yeah, so beamy, we got we got a beamy, beamy boat here. Yeah, you're working with a lot of boat. Huge cockpit to work with for fishing. It's a fisherman's... Haven right here, um, a lot of space. You got two dual transom circular wells here, 55 gallons. They're nice, um, especially if you're any sort of South Florida fisherman where we do a lot of you know live baiting. Oh yeah. Key, it's a must have. Oh, absolutely. Plug, 70 gallon floor well, um, that's an option. You can plug it for a live well, you don't have to. Two giant kill boxes, insulated. Um, this one's massive, it's gotta be over 1,000 quart, you know, down here. Up for you. Yeah, let's see what's this in This goes it. all the way to where you're about where your feet are. Okay. Deep. Oh, and it's yeah. plumbed to a macerator. It goes all the way back there to that lap back bilge. Nice. Yep. Easily, easily can store up seven hundred pounds of fish in there. We've already stuffed five hundred, so it's easy. It's easy to do. Um, two lazarettes with your pump boxes in there, access to um, your valves for your pump boxes, for your live wells, um, access um, to your diaphragm pumps, very accessible, you can get your whole body in there, it's nice for any of your mates and captains that, you know, want to get them able and work something out, bilge pumps, Yeah, nice. you know, and uh, yeah, moving forward, big console, option for a tackle station back here, drop down, you got your, you know, tackle table here, drawers, Tackle boxes, you name it. Nice. Good option for fishermen. And that's obviously an option. It's something if you want to do, you don't have to. Dual 22 inch Garmin screens. Really nice to have, have you know, big screens to work with, especially, you know, on, on something like this where you can, you know, access your transducers, charts, sonars, radars, all, all in one. Your motor information. And it's a big display for you to be able to see, see what exactly what you're working with, especially if you're reading bottom for fishing, you know, yeah. reading the topography there. That's uh, a real good thing to have. Nice. Nice visibility too. Yep, good viz. Gets on plane at like 15 miles an hour, 16 miles an hour with this setup, you know, some solar packages, um, even 14 miles an hour on plane like nothing, quickly, four seconds. Um, what's nice is that you can you can feel it too when you jump up. 
you know, you give it throttle, it just comes up to a certain degree and then just drops right, folds right down. So you're never having to worry about, you know, staring at the sky when you're going trying to get it up on a plane, which is nice. So good tell me about this, this seat here. What's under this? So oh, is there is there storage? There's, this is here. This is a uh, more storage, or we also sometimes depends on what you're loading on the boat. House batteries. Okay. So we'll put some house batteries in here too. Um, but right now, the way this boat's set up, it's just storage. Okay. Um, leaning post options are endless. You know, we have you know this style kind of uh, you know backrest leading post or you know storage here or we do you know LeBrock set up too you know with the helm chairs I saw that in the we other boat those, that we do we do those options as well um, and then I guess moving forward I I, I, I want to stress guys. all this here all these rod holders oh yeah everywhere and put them on our coffin box XL coffin box as well that is a big is that just uh is this, that this, single double this door is, so this is one big door Oh my Over god. Here, pop this open. And it's a big insulated just giant cooler. I mean you can use this for a lot of different things, whether you want to use it for ice and storage for like you know fish, or you can use it for storage and we have these dividers you can slide up and down, slide in and out to kind of divide, you know, your storage. You put some things that you want more forward and keep them more dry and then you can keep some more like bait stuff back here. Yeah. You can keep them completely separate. That's huge. Let me tell you, I like that. Yep, it's massive, and it's also a great layout. You know, so you can add, you know, have both. You know, please the wife and kids too. So that's nice. always nice. You got more seating over here as yep. well. Another uh, insulated cooler there with the seat there. There's this, a cooler down in here. Yep, this is a drink cooler as well. Okay, nice. Yep. And we got uh, two more insulated front fish boxes here. Also plumbed to a diaphragm pump. You want to pump them over. Um, and these two front hatches here are more storage that actually run all the way to the top of the sponsor and all the way to the front of the bow. So this is at least 10 feet of storage here that goes up this entire tunnel. So you you've you've you you're the captain of this particular boat, right? Yes, sir. So what's the nastiest condition you've been in that made you say holy smack? I am in a beast. I'm on a beast. This yeah. is crazy. We um, we did some testing with it um, when we first got her out and uh, out to the public, and we were up in Fort Lauderdale. I remember we were in, you know, a pretty big sea, anywhere from like three to five, occasional six, and which is not a crazy big sea to you know to be you know maneuvering in, especially around here. It's kind of what we're used to being able to have to, you know, uh, go out in seas like that, you know, with ease and be fishing that stuff, kind of stuff all the time. But I really saw what she can do is when we were doing that, and we were doing like, you know, 55, 60 miles an hour in that kind of sea. That's and that's crazy. when I knew from there on, I was like, wow, this is a different kind of beast, you know, and that's I, awesome. 55, 60 miles an hour in a, you know, in a, in a especially if like a four to six or three to five is and that's, something you want to hold on to, get your seat belts on, yeah. freaking helmet, mouth guard. But it was pretty impressive to see that this thing handled exceptionally well, even doing speeds like that, you know. It's, it, it tracks well, so it can get into the next wave set as it comes out of the water. The re-entry is smooth, tracks straight once it gets in there, doesn't want to weave you out of there, which is nice. real nice. And um, it was super smooth, I mean, and she stays high above it and gets on top, stays dry. So it, it was really impressive when I first saw that, and from then on I, I knew that this was a different kind of beast that we're working with here. Guys, Invincible, take a look at them. and. Uh, Zach, if they wanted to see some information, I think uh, they told me Invincible, what was the website or In, social media? Invinciblebeboats.com. We have uh, also on social media, we have an Instagram, Invincible Boats. You can check us out on both both websites or, or both pages. We're there. We're on Facebook as well. Check out a lot of our different layouts. We're also, we got our factory here in Miami for any of you local guys that want to you, you know, you take know, a tour of the factory. You know what? I think I'm going to go reach out to you guys to see if maybe we take a tour of the factory, how you guys are making them. Please do. Because I think that'll definitely show people the finishes are fantastic on this boat um, I saw one coming in I think the 37 while we were about climbing onto this one and it yep. looks it looks really nice in the water so oh, absolutely. it looks yeah, great it's got good lines it's aggressive and it looks really good really good in the water all right guys we're out of here invincible another monster look at this bad 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 boy